Okay, my name's Dale Bass. Up until last Friday, I was the associate editor at Kamloops This Week, where for the past about decade, I covered Thompson River Uni Rivers University stories, talking to researchers, students, the student union, people like that. It's difficult to identify one vision for Kamloops because there's so many aspects to what makes up our city. But what I see is a city approaching six figures in population that has potential growth, but we need to actually start to plan for that future rather than for just next week. I talked with a businessman recently who said the biggest problem with attracting and retaining young people, particularly young entrepreneurs, is that they don't feel welcome in the city. They go to office buildings that don't have the amenities they want. They don't have bike racks. They don't have a gym or access to a gym elsewhere. They don't have an in-cafeteria. In they have cubicles. It's not the kind of work environment a lot of young people want right now, and that's why they're heading off to other cities, because we can't offer it better bus service. And by that, I don't only mean the fact that we center our bus routes downtown and in the Tronk Hill Market area, but improve services to the rapidly growing outer edges of the city. I think we should be looking and investigating in electric buses, other options that are more green to help the sustainability of the environment. And I think that we also need to put, if we don't change, at least put smaller buses on some of these routes that don't carry a, a large load every route around. When this, the university announced the purchase of Upper College Heights, I talked to Matt Milovic, the Vice President of Finance, and I said, this is a very cool purchase you've made. And he says, oh no, look beyond the buildings. Look at all that land where we can build more housing. The city needs to facilitate that. The city needs to work with True to make sure that happens quickly, that it doesn't get bogged down in developmental processes. The city needs to also work with the university on that overpass over the Summit Connector to make sure that those who are housed there can get into and out of campus safely. Growth. Growth in innovation, growth in new technologies, uh, growth in the tourism sector. For too long, we've relied on an industrial base, and I think we need to expand and look at the tourism and the lifestyle base as well, because this is a very cool city. It's a great city to live in. It's a great city to raise kids. It's a great city to work in. It's a great city to study in. There are lots of proud moments in my career, but the most recent one is also one of the most sad ones. As a reporter, I covered the opioid crisis, which is affecting kids, young people, people at True, people in schools. And I think I told the stories of those families and their grief and who they lost and why that loss mattered in a human way. I was happy with it. If you can be happy about writing about something so sad and so wrong and so critical to be addressed.